There are some rare men with a weird physic feature that they have half a head. Now, let's see their strange stories. Miami police had to deal with many difficulties when they arrested a man for allegedly soliciting prostitution not because of his uncooperativeness but his identification issue. He provided different names as well as other personal details and submitted to fingerprinting and a mugshot. It was his weird physical feature of having no forehead that helped police to recognize him. After a long time of inspecting, the police clearly gave up finding him and half a head is the name they stated his typical feature. Doctors guessed that he might suffer a serious accident that damaged his brain so much. A forklift driver Steve Gator at Farnham Road Harold Hill was attacked by two teenage thugs. As a result, he was punched so hard that his head swelled and his brain suffered an irreparable damage. This unlucky man then was taken to the hospital, where doctors had no choice except for removing his half of his brain and skull. After the difficult surgery, he unluckily lost almost everything from his personality to motor function problem solving, spontaneity, memory, language, initiation, judgment, impulse control as well as social and lovemaking behaviors. After a serious accident of falling from 25 feet when working at a work site without safety conditions in February 2008, Alan Hines suffered from massive head injuries including extensive skull fractures, a badly broken jaw, a severed optic nerve that left him blind in one eye and irreparable brain damage. He also suffered kidney damage and was left deaf in one ear. An eight-year-old Hukuozi living Dongying of Sandong Province, China is famous all over the world as the boy with half a head. Back to the time, he was a half of healthy twins and born just three minutes later than his brother. The birth defect didn't appear until Guozi was three years old when his left side limbs developed habitual muscle spasms, 